Okay, here we have a little bit of a different situation in that we have something shrinking. And when you have a rate that's shrinking, typically you're going to use the negative sign to show something shrinking, uh, a rate that's decreasing. Okay, so just want to give you that heads up. So here we have a spherical snowball melt so that its radius decreases at a rate of three inches per second. At what rate is the volume of the snowball changing when the radius is five, uh, five inches? So I drew the diagram, snowball that in this case is purple, uh, larger than shrinking. Uh, I've state what is known. We know that the, the rate that the snowball is shrinking is at three inches per second and I gave it a negative sign to indicate decreasing. I also stated what the volume of a sphere is because we're going to need to relate, uh, use that when we uh, find the, the rate that the volume is decreasing. So now we're just going to take the derivative of both sides. So dv dt is equal to 3 times 4 thirds pi r squared times dr dt. And notice those 3's cancel. So dv dt is equal to 4 pi. The radius, we want to know the moment that the radius is 5 inches and the rate is it's decreasing at 3 inches per second. And then you simply do the math. Uh, 5 inches squared is uh, 25 inches squared. 25 times 4 so we have dv dt. Uh, 25 times 4 is 100 times negative 3. And you don't have to really put negative 300. You could just put 300 pi inches cubed per second. But you need to make sure that you're st stating that this is, is a decreasing rate. Sometimes professors will want the negative sign in front, but we typically just use the negative sign for here to indicate decreasing. But if you use the word decreasing in your answer, that takes care of it as well. So it can go either way. All right, that's it for this one. Still a pretty easy one.